welcome back to another unboxing and yes we are unboxing the five movie collection of the Pirates of the Caribbean. <music> Yes, we have the 4K5 movie box set uh, from Disney of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. As you can see here, this is currently on offer. Um, I believe it's still this price on HMV. I bought it for 40 quid. I thought I'll do an unboxing of it anyways. I know it's been out a while, but yeah. Also, I know that this 4K transfer isn't the greatest, um, but I don't own these movies for a start. To get a 4K in the collection for less than 10 quid each is decent. And I want the Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So yeah, I mean, people have said that it can be worse than um, the actual Blu-ray versions, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I actually really like this box set. I feel confident enough that Disney is not gonna make any more of these. So I feel like this box set is gonna be um, sufficient for quite a while. So yeah, let's get into it then. As you can see, we, it is a very hard box. Um, cardboard and um yeah just take the wrapper off uh, but yeah there it is there's the actual cover you've got a skull and crossbones there although it doesn't look that centered um doesn't look centered does it it's very off anyways um yeah so that is there we've got the age ratings there they are not stickers they are actually on there the spine itself we've got a uh, five movie collection and and then all the movies then there black pearl dead man's chest world's end T stranger tides and then salazar's revenge I can't remember the last time I watched, like especially the last three, maybe two. Like the first two I watched quite recently, like within the last two years, I'd say. But these three, oh my God, I can't remember. So this is gonna be, as you can imagine, a revisiting uh, series. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get into each of the actual movies itself in a little bit, but we'll look at the back first. We've got the specs obviously all there. As I said, Dolby Atmos is why I bought these mainly. Uh, I got all the specs of all the individual movies. There is no like director's cuts or anything like that. It just looks like it's uh, the one runtime for each movie. And uh, and yeah, so we obviously get 4K and Blu-ray in here. We also get some Blu-ray bonus features for each movie. Looks like every movie's kind of got things, although one movie, uh, World's End, just has bloopers. That's it, nothing else. Uh, but the later movies do have a lot more than the beginning movies. So yeah. So as I say, this is the box set. Let's actually get into the first one. Let's try and get these out. So I haven't seen anything about this. I don't know what any of these are. So we'll try and get them out in order. So the first movie is going to be the Black Pearl. Now, yeah, wow, really like that design. Um, that is the, the original poster, actually, the OG, you know, uh, DVD that I had way back when. And then inside then we get, I'm not gonna get all the discs out and stuff, Black disc for the 4K, Jack Sparrow there with Orlando Bloom, uh, Will Turner, and then the Blu-ray then there. So uh, yeah, fantastic, really good, really good looking design. Um, they're just cardboard, like, you know, like designed, but they're glossy, really nice feel to them. Yeah, so we'll take out this one's now, Dead Man's Chest, another one of my favorites. Again, that Blu-ray uh, DVD cover that was uh, out when it came out. Then we get the uh, Blu-ray disc. It's interesting, actually, the Blu-ray disc on this one is an older disc. You can tell by the age ratings, um, whereas obviously the 4K have got the new age, age rating. So this one's still a little bit um, outdated. Uh, this one get, is a new disc, so I'm assuming uh, this has been a new disc made for this. So it's also got 2023 on there, 2023, 2023, and this one doesn't have a date. Um, as I say, because this was would have been pre-2023. So there's that one. Then we've got um, at World's End. Um, again, this is where we're starting to get into the I don't know what these movies are kind of thing, because I haven't watched these for a while. Again, we get another like uh, updated disc for the Blu-ray. Uh, black one for the 4K, and then some more artwork inside. Uh, on the back of each of them, we do get the same thing, actually. Just a lip, kind of different things, depending on the movie. So there's that one. I don't know why I'm keeping them open, but... <laughs> Uh, then we got um, On Stranger Tides, so yeah, this is where there's mermaids in there, I imagine. <laughs> Penelope Cruz, again, can't remember it. Uh, yeah, so Ian McShane looks like he's in there as well. Uh, yeah, pretty decent, again, another 2023 disc. And then the final one, Salazar's Revenge, which I believe is Javier Bardem, yes it is. Uh, and again, Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, Jeffrey Rush and all that. So. Yeah, 2023 discs. 
Looking forward to giving these another watch, to be honest. These will be uh, probably more of a summer thing for me. I think I'm going to get to these mainly in the summer if I can. Uh, currently, I've just started the Alien movies, so that's the next franchise for me, after watching The Lord of the Rings, obviously. Uh, but yeah, there they all are. Um, I'm really happy with these. Really like the design. Really plain, really simple. But like, you don't need to reinvent the wheel if something's already good. Like, this is very iconic, um, this, this image, as well as this one. So... Don't recreate it. Sometimes you haven't got to. Um, you know, I think it's, it's very nice keeping them as they are. You know, it's a bit of nostalgia there. And um, and yeah, but they're quite good quality. I'd say they're really good quality for Disney uh, in comparison to things like maybe my Avatar Collector's Edition. I'd probably say this is better quality in terms of the card feels a bit stronger. Uh, it's got that plastic insert to keep the structure right as well. And the spine has like a really good like fold in it. So yeah, it feels really good. Um, obviously, people have critiqued the quality of the blue rays but i'm not issued i'm not even worried about that i just want that adobe app more soundtrack which i know i could get on disney and streaming and all that but i want these in my collection as well so if this is the only way to get my Atmos soundtrack in my collection, this is how I have to do it. So, so yeah, there it is. We'll put them all back in now, though, uh, all in order of when they came out, I believe. So, yeah, there they are. As I say, I'm pretty confident they're not going to make another one of these now. There was a heavy rumour that Margot Robbie was going to be doing the sixth movie in the franchise and, like, fronting that, but that seems to have all been cancelled and stuff like that now. Um, but, yeah, there it is, the five-movie collection. Stay tuned on the channel if you want to see me review and revisit these movies movies and uh, rank them and all that but yeah there it is there's the unboxing 40 quid you might be able to get it now still go and uh, go and grab it if you want 20 percent off that actually there was a link down below for hmv to get 20 percent off the 40 quid so uh, go and grab it while you can uh, but yeah there it is thanks so much for watching guys stay tuned for more videos coming soon and of course i'll see you in the next one goodbye